The Crown Prince is come to Doma. Form a line! Now! I will not forsake them! Welcome, or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure video games, art, or music, then you should subscribe because that's everything we do here. Also, don't forget to give a like on this video because that super helps us out. Quick announcement, we are on our way to 800 subscribers. Once we get to 800, I'm going to do a super special live art stream where I will be drawing your Final Fantasy XIV characters or OCs or whatever you want me to that is <laughs> safe for work. So that is going to be super, super fun and I'm very excited for it. So as soon as we hit 800... We'll do that. Despite everything we have seen and learned, I refuse to renounce this cause. We should return to the House of the Fierce and consult with our comrades. Perhaps together we might... Did you hear that? Quickly, we must find a place to hide. Oh, quickly. <laughs> here I am, just... Here! She's right here! They're really just hiding behind a building. Imperials. Why are you milling about like a pack of slack-jawed mongrels? Form a line! Now! Finally. I come before you today to deliver an announcement of the highest import. So listen well. While on a charitable mission to Isari village, the acting Viceroy and her personal guard came under attack from Confederate forces. This brazen, unconscionable act cannot and will not go unanswered. As loyal subjects of the Empire, who enjoy her safety and prosperity, you have a duty to defend her as well. There is no cause for alarm. We have no intention of sending ill-trained fodder to the front line. Those who are selected will be expected to perform rudimentary tasks, cleaning and maintenance and so forth. You will serve only as long as you are needed. Afterwards, you'll be free to return to your homes. You, you first. The Empire has no pressing need of cleaners. This is but a thinly veiled attempt to intimidate those who supported the Confederacy's actions, and isolate any whose loyalty they already suspect. And lastly, you. That should suffice for now. Don't worry. I will be back before you know it. Listen to the Elders while I'm away, and do not play outside the village. Everything is going to be fine. I love you, all right? Remember that I love you. Aww. We thank you for your cooperation. 
Rest assured that this will all be over very soon, once the Confederacy has been made to pay our own ruby tithe. There's no telling what might happen to those people. We have to help them. And we shall. But before all else, we must needs ascertain their destination. I doubt this is the first village the Garleans have visited. Nor is it like to be the last. I will track these men. Will you help me? Pray return to our headquarters and tell the others what you saw here. Should we have need of reinforcements, I would know that they are ready. But I should be going with you. I came here to fight. Soon enough, Lise. Soon enough. For now, we must proceed with caution. I know that. I do. It's just... When I saw them rounding those people up... Look, if anything happens, anything at all, you'd better call for us. I mean it, Yugiri. Anything at all. Oh, Lise, she's got such a good heart. She's ever such a good girl. Regardless of what the officer claimed, I fear they have crueler designs for these people. With me, Burr, we must hurry. Given the circumstances, we must make every effort to refrain from needless violence. Here, it is a shinobi's tool for when a more discreet approach is required. Use it with these darts. They are coated with an alchemical reagent that, er, reagent? that induces a deep sleep. There are soldiers patrolling ahead. Where circumstances different, we would engage them directly, but for the villagers' sake, we dare not risk it. We will use our blowguns to incapacitate them. Regardless of your familiarity with such weapons, you are a veteran warrior, and I'm sure it will come naturally to you. Nevertheless, practice is in order. Dart gun, not okay. There, the soldier on the hill below. Take aim and fire. If the dart finds its mark, he should fall within moments. Well done, my friend. Now give me your map. There is a vantage point from which you may observe and fire upon the other soldiers. Worry not. I shall be with you every step of the way, keeping watch for other patrols. We shall speak again on the other side of the river. We're going hunting. <laughs> Fine work, Burr. You have a gift for the ways of the shinobi. The way is clear. Let us move closer and see what has become of the villagers. Might just have to be a shinobi now. Sir, the Arn from the other villages are assembled for inspection. Very good. I will address them personally. Attention! Shortly you will all be transported to the facility on the distant shore. Your duties, as you have been previously informed, will be rudimentary in nature. More specifically, you will be tasked with the repair and maintenance of various arms and armaments, as well as Magitech devices. Magitech? But we're farmers! We don't know the first thing about Magitech. It'd take us months, if not years, to learn how to do that kind of work. The material in question was damaged when your kith and kin rose up in rebellion, therefore you bear responsibility for its repair. If you cannot perform your duties, you will learn how, and if you cannot learn how, then your villagers may find themselves at the mercy of the confederacy and other radical elements. 
Is that what you want? Deal with this rabble. I have needed at the castle. How rude. This is no temporary measure. Those men and women will die in servitude. Once they are taken to the other facility, it will be too late. If we are to intervene, we must do so now. Agreed? Then let us be about it. Let's go mess them up! Shake it all up! Despite the urgency of the situation, we must still proceed with the utmost caution to ensure the safety of the villagers. To wit, we must infiltrate the castrum without raising the alarm. I will deal with any soldiers near the entrance. Stand watch for others approaching from the north until you hear my signal. For mercy, you spy no Imperial patrols bound for the castrum. A hawk's cry pierces the silence. Yugiri is waiting. Speak softly, lest the others hear us. What of the outside? That is good. We may proceed as planned. These ones shall not wake soon. However, the others are too close to the villagers. Incapacitating them as I did these ones is far too risky. Fortunately, a solution presents itself. I would have you disguise yourself as an Imperial soldier and convince them that a changing of the guard is in order. You have your pick of uniforms. They shall not protest. This isn't weird at all. This uniform appears to be more or less your size. With all due care and consideration, you relieve the sleeping soldier of their uniform. You have chosen one to your liking, then. Excellent. I shall hide these ones where none, uh, where none will find them. Sorry for making you naked, man. Our sleeping beauties have been laid to rest in their bunks. Oh, and while I was in the barracks, I happened upon these spare uniforms in case the items in your possession are not to your liking. With that, you have a full set. I'm sure that once you get you change, it will seem as though it was bespoke. You will need to give the soldiers guarding the villagers a proper imperial salute to complete the deception and convince them to go to come here where I will be waiting to deal with them. <laughs> Let me guess, hangover, eh? I've been there. Woke up once after a late night drinking and couldn't find didn't find my kabuto until days later. You don't want to know what it was filled with. Let me tell you. That I did not need to know. Changing of the guard is it about bloody time. Just looking at these on is making me depressed. Reminds me of when I was in their shoes, pissing myself in fear. You're welcome. Oh, hello there. Are you new? <laughs> is it time already? Not that I'm complaining, mind, but I thought the others would be gone longer. All right, cleared. These ones shall sleep soundly along with the others. And with that, there are no more soldiers to trouble us. You can dispose of that accursed uniform, too. It is time to guide the villagers to freedom. Accursed. Listen to me, all of you. We have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must flee this place quickly. Dealt with them? Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. Running will only make it worse. To stay is to die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live! Or has that, too, been beaten out of you? Is this what has become of Doma? You were Lord Heon's retainer, trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this, all of this, but we can't do a damn thing to change it, and trying will only make it worse. It's a pathetic existence, but it's all we've got. 
And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it... it doesn't help. All right? Peace, boy. Peace. She came to help, and for that we should be grateful. So sad. Elder, your face. We all have scars. Some too many to bear. Too many battles. Too much lost. Our friends, our family, even our liege. We who survived are forced to bend the knee, to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. How are we to lift our heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us? Your courage, your resolve, they are a salt in our wounds. If they only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this, brothers and sisters of Doma. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. My lord, my lord prays you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must, to keep your loved ones safe. Why would you... after everything? You kitty, wake up! <laughs> Apologies, but I was lost in thought. They have, they have the right of it. They have, we are fools for urging them to rise once more. Yet I believe, I have to believe that in their hearts, heart of hearts, they, they still. Now is not the time. We must finish what we started. I have at my possession a powerful medicine that befuddles the mind and memories. We must administer it to the soldiers ere they wake. A chocobo scared me. The medicine will leave the soldiers confused and unable to clearly recall recent events. They will suspect that they fell asleep in their posts and be reluctant to discuss it with others. It is not more than a temporary measure, but we dare not kill them for the sake of the villagers. Tend to the last two I put to sleep, I shall see to the others. She's thought of everything. It's wild. Forgive me for making you search. It's okay, I guess. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes.
Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. This is where we tell her we've met her mother and father. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. They are in good health then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind, that they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? He said, good, we are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. Uh, what will you say? Together we are strong and we must carry on. It will not always be so. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, together we are strong. That you remain resolute, even in the face of everything we have seen, it heartens me more than you know. Thank you for standing by this naive fool. No, uh, what's that? An Imperial airship. Who did? It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. I'm real sick of these Imperials. Oh gosh. Oh no. Did ya? There you are! What happened? Are the villagers all right? We freed them, along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The Crown Prince is come to Doma. We suspect this is a result of recent events in Gear Arbania. 
Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. Though Yotsuyu governs Doma, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Would that it were so simple, Lady Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. We survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. We know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman, trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the Shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to bar your path. For I myself crave that same vengeance. But to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. Even should you succeed, Xenos's death will not win Doma her freedom. Come on, guys, stop fighting. We don't have time for this. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child. <sighs> Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! You carry wait! What now? I will not pursue her. It is for her to think on our master's words and recognize the futility of her course. Those, at least, are my thoughts upon the matter. Yours may be different. Should you wish to give chase, I will not bar your path. We each have but one life, and it is not to be spent recklessly in pursuit of our goals. I pray she realizes this soon. What are you doing just standing here with your bird? Shooting the hawk out. Did Gosetsu send you to stop me? No, actually. <laughs> then you came of your own free will. I should be surprised if you agreed with my chosen course. No one else did. But it is not as fanciful as they would have you believe. Scant ma moments ago, I received the Crown Prince's itinerary from one of our spies in the castle. It would seem that Xenos has no desire to remain in Doma any longer than necessary. He wishes to inspect the moon gates this very eve. His impatience is to our advantage. He arrived without warning and gave Yetsuyu no time to prepare. The whole castle is in a state of upheaval. To avoid any delay, he has declined a full escort and will be traveling with no more than a handful of soldiers. The Kami could not have blessed us with more auspicious circumstances. I will kill him, Burr. I will. You mean we will kill him? You hurt my feelings. Or die trying. You understand the risks. Forgive me. Of course you do. Mayhap better than I. But are you sure? Thank you. Thank you. I... I cannot well express what this means to me. We have much to discuss, but we can do so on the way. Yuzuka Manor is some distance from here. We must hurry. <gasps> Uh-oh. Oh, is somebody watching us? Oh, it's the little boy. Stay calm. No one knows you are here. No one knows you saw anything. No one knows you overheard two rebel plots 
plotting, rebels plotting to kill the crown prince. God, stupid, stupid, stupid. You know how this ends, and they only have themselves to blame. You have to tell them. You have to... This is far enough. Let us discuss our plan of attack. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video with the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very, very fun. That link will be in the description underneath this video. And I also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well. And also, I do have a Patreon if you're interested. That link is below, and that does help <laughs> get us uh, to support the channel so I can be here and do more stuff with you guys. All right, from uh, all of us to all of you, <laughs> bye.